All right, I'm gonna try to make this video do the best job I can here. This is an action plan to be taken out by law enforcement. They're supposed to do their jobs. And um, let's get started here. Um, first of all, this new old order crap. Uh, George Bush gave a speech, I don't know, back in 91. And this is how I know he's going to fail and how I know the New World Order will fail. This is why he's going to contradict himself. Listen to this. As founders, we have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. A world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order. Do you hear that? He contradicts himself right there. He says we'll be successful, and then he says we'll have we have a real chance. When he says he has a real chance, that means he's going to fail. That means the new world order will fail. There's doubt. Ha ha ha! Trumped it. There you go. Okay. Before you watch this video any further, um, please go watch the Secret Covenant. I'm going to put that up on the screen. It's this video here. Um, it's very important that you watch this video. This will this will bring everything together in one big picture of what's going on, and this is going on. It's everywhere. It's everything. It's the whole system. Okay. So before you watch any more of this video, please go watch this video so you get an idea. And this will bring everybody together. This video here will get everybody on the same page. Okay. So it's, this is like a message to all the law enforcement out there. You know, um, they're spraying us, of course, with this shit. And, and we're sick of it. I'm sick of it. And we just got to stop. And it's going to stop. Okay, so... The elites have, like, brainwashed you guys into thinking that we're the enemy. We're not the enemy. The enemy's right over your head. They're spraying the crap out of you and your families and all of us. You're part of we the people. And I'm talking to you, you sheriffs, and you law enforcement. Excuse me, my stupid phone. Okay. Sorry for that interruption. But listen... We the people are not a threat to you. The threat comes from the Illuminati or the non-human bloodlines. They want a police state. Please wake up and get real, okay? They don't care about you. If you guys go ahead and round us up, throw us in FEMA camps. Once that's all done and over, they're going to round you up and throw you in, in FEMA camps or two. So, you know, you're, you're, you're part of the people here. So you need to just take a step back, stand up, look around, okay, and see what's going on here. We're being sprayed, and it's poison, and it's bad, and um, it needs to stop. It's going to stop. It's stopping. But we need your help. We, the people, need your help. The sheriffs, you were elected by the people in every county, and you have the most authority in every county. You have more authority than the president. You have more authority than any military. So if there's a military base in your county, you have, we have to go to the airports. We have to, to, to dismantle the spraying systems. We have to check every plane. We have to go to the municipal airports. We have to check every plane. We have to video document this with uh, alternative media journalists going out there with cameras and videotape everybody taking out these spraying systems. The systems are in the commercial jets. They're in the military jets. It's got to stop. <laughs> Excuse me for that. The commercial jets. The pilots don't even know they're spraying us, okay? It's a separate system. The system runs on a completely separate system from the plane system. It's remote controlled. Okay. So how does it, how, how do they get filled up with this stuff? Well, what happens is the, the, the crews that go out there and they empty out the, the crap out of the restrooms and the airplanes, nobody talks to those guys. They're like, you know, a separate whole gig from the mechanics and everybody else, all the personnel at the airports. So nobody talks to those guys. So when they go and they empty the shit, excuse my French, out of those airplanes, they put shit in the airplanes at the same time. I'm talking about the chem, the stuff they're spraying in the sky. They're filling up tanks in the back of those planes that are hidden. They're, they're from view and you can't see them, you know. And they're sprayed remote control from another, another control panel somewhere else. So these are separate systems in the commercial airlines and they have to be taken out too. Okay, so military planes, sheriffs, you have the most authority in your county. We have to go county by county, 
airport to airport because they have to come down sometimes. You know, what goes up got to come down. So they have to land, they have to refuel, they have to re fill up the Kim, you know, stuff. You know what this Kim is for is just to make everybody go along with the new world order. We're not going to do it. It's not going to happen. It's to make everybody docile. It's to make everybody depressed. Feeling like shit. Okay? It blocks the sun. The sun gives us our vitality. This has got to stop. This is ridiculous. It's getting way over the top. Okay? You know, somebody's going to have to have a list of every plane that's in the sky, okay, so we can cross these off as we go and just start taking them apart, fixing them, back to back to non-spray mode, okay. Um, and then, of course, there's, somebody's got a list somewhere of the people behind this, people that need to be arrested. You know, the sheriffs. It's up to you. I don't. I see the you as the last stand. I mean, the last chance we got. So. It can be done. Picture a blue sky day back in the day. The air is crisp and clean. You can take a deep breath and you can taste the sweetness of the air. That's long gone, folks. But keep that vision in your mind. Clear, crisp, blue sky day in springtime. We had a day like that back in March or April 2013. Just one day where the Kims were real bad and then Overnight, the wind came through there and just blew all that stuff out of there. And in the morning, 9, 9 o'clock in the morning, it was just unbelievably perfect. And I haven't seen air like that since then or long before then. So I keep that vision in my mind. It keeps a smile on my face. This can be done. It will be done. The Kim Trails are unsustainable. It's not going to happen any longer. We're going to stop this shit. This is my idea of a solution. I can't see it in any other way. We're just going to get a posse together. Um, volunteers, whatever. But law enforcement, you got to, you know, you're sheriff, you got to lead the way. We got to follow you in and, and take take this and do this. Anyway, that's my idea. I wish all you guys a happy new year. And um, hopefully this will be a step in the right direction if people would, you know, break loose from the fear. There's no fear here. We just got to handle business. We need action on the ground, boots on the ground. Over and out, folks. Happy New Year.